Welcome back everyone to more career mode gameplay of NASCAR Heat 5. And things are going quite well in our first season with Junior Motorsports in this number one car. Uh, let's take a quick look at the season standings and you can see we're under the playoff standings right now. Not your traditional points, but rather the playoff standings because that's really all we care about at this point. Once we got that first win of the year at Daytona, playoffs have been our focus. We're sitting here with four wins and a total of five stage wins. That's a lot of points. So we are looking in very good shape for that number one spot when it comes playoff time. But of course, we're not quite there yet. If you look at the top of the screen, race number nine of 33. So we've got quite a bit to go before we get to the end of the season and playoff time. But today is all about Talladega. So again, we have not been able to run Talladega or Daytona in the past in the truck series when we owned our own team simply because we didn't have a chassis for it. So it really wouldn't have made a whole lot of sense for us to run those races at a great disadvantage to the rest of the field. But now that is not the case. Junior Motorsports has provided us with a great chassis and now we're headed to Talladega with a great chance for a victory. Now I have made one change to the career mode settings uh, I generally don't touch the career mode settings. Once we get everything set at the very beginning, I don't touch it. I leave it on max difficulty. I leave all the AI settings alone and so on. But here I've made one change, and that is to add back in the AI drafting where they want to uh, get together with us. We've seen the messages in pre-race every once in a while where it says so-and-so is our friend and are, are going to be looking to work with us today. Well, that's actually going to be in effect at Talladega. I usually like to leave that setting off because it can cause a bunch of mayhem when uh, you're at a track where you do not want people bumping you in the corner and yet they're trying to hook up with you. So for Talladega, I think it is going to be fantastic and hopefully it will help make a lot of excitement for the race. So now it's time to find out. All right, folks, here we go. Let's see, Kobe Howard, relax. He's your friend. He's going to race us cleanly. All right, so relax. And maybe he was a little worried we were stressed. Uh, Justin Allgaier, pole winner. Well, teammate, so that's certainly no surprise. Junior Motorsports always strong at the plate Coming tracks. The green, we're starting in the Be seventh right position on the inside lane. Let's, Let's see what happens. Car outside. Hold your line. Let's see what kind of drafting help we get from our friends. So what type of friends we might have. Careful, still there. Very you easy to make room. friends here in the career mode. I forget how many we have yeah, right now, but uh, basically as long as you don't just run them over race after race, you'll be fine. All right, right now I'm just sort of trying to stay, stay in low, line, stay waiting for somebody to pull out because I really want to go with somebody. They're leaving that bottom open so we can easily get down there. Oh, we got a drafting partner. It shows up on the left-hand side of the screen toward Careful. the bottom. Still there. Down there just above the track map. So the 07. All, clear. All right, let's see if the 07, who is, I believe, right behind us, let's see if he's coming with us. Nope, we lost you him. You got room. You're clear there. All right, I'm in and out of the gas quite a bit right now. Timmy Hill has been a superstar lately. He did great at Bristol which was the last race I actually Careful. ran rather than uh, simulating it. And Timmy Hill won uh, one of the stages, oh, I believe, at Bristol. We got the overall win, but uh, he was right there. Got a car high now. All right, so one of the things I really want from these drafting partners is I want it to mix things up. I want Careful. the AI to be able to pass, because right now we've just gotten to the lead, and honestly, I wasn't even trying to get to the lead. So I want that outside lane to really good, a, a really nice run and catch us. I see two guys really close together up there. But they're going nowhere right now except backwards. So I may pull up there and see what we can do in that outside lane. But right now we're just gonna have to fall back quite a ways. So stage one, of course there's a stage point up for grabs which we would like to have. That's pretty much the only reason why I haven't just pulled up out of the draft and went to the high lane and tried to pull them up front. Okay, now 
the guys, I believe that was Ray Black that was behind us. He's going to the high side, and again, he's going straight back. All right, here we go. Here comes Noah. Teammate coming up behind us. Let's see if he chooses to go with us or if he pulls out the pass. Two laps left. Stay calm. All right, looks like he's just going to stick with us. They had a nice run to get to me. I was hoping he was going to take that run and do something with it. So, of course, we know that this is our first trip of the season to Talladega. All right, they've got a nice little run. I am not going to block that. I'm going to let them go on the high side because they got a, what, three, four, five cars up there? Four at least on the high side. They should just blow right by me right here because I'm down on the inside. There we come. There we go. All right, they should just go right by me now. Actually, they should have already been gone by. White flag, bring it home. All right, last lap. We'll see if we're able to bring home that stage point. All right, drafting partner with the 51, although it's kind of hard for him to draft with me since he's side by side. Now, here comes a teammate. He's going to give us a nice little push. The guys on the outside are still there. I keep waiting to see him out of the corner of my eye. So far, nothing. Car outside, hold your line. All right, there we go. He's outside. Nope, now he's gone. Assuming that Noah was still the first car in that lane, they are gone. All right, so as we come to the end of stage number one, and yeah, that was... He took that stage. Good job. That was an easy win. So now we're going to employ one of our favorite tactics on tracks like this. And we're going to pit. And I don't care what you do. Just put on whatever tires. Do whatever you want to. As long as we start in the back, I'm happy. Coming to the green. Be ready here. All right, here we go. Inside. All right, let's see if we can get these guys... Five to okay. go. This time by. I thought he was going to move up Stay out of the way and let us go. You got room. You're clear there. Oh, we're clear on the bottom. Let's get down here. Let's see if we can't follow this number six Whataburger car. I could use a Whataburger. Stay right on the now. bottom. I could use several of them, in fact. All right, everybody's starting to come up to speed Stay now. On the bottom. Running mid 90s, or excuse me, 190s, I should say. Car outside, hold your line. Way out of the gas, way out of the gas. See, these are the times when we don't want a Car drafting outside, partner. We've line. got one. Because from time to time, they're not exactly sure Careful, what they're supposed to be doing. So they end up hammering us. And there's nowhere for us to go. So we can cause a big wreck Careful, if we're not there. careful. But so far, he's hit us once or twice, but it hasn't been... Yeah, I'm out of the Stay gas the quite a bit. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Careful, still there. All right, let's pull down to the inside, see if we can't get a little more speed here. Now is when we need our drafting partner to pull right still up to there. us, if he can get to us. Out of the gas. Yeah, these guys are... Careful, still there. I mean, I see them two, three wide, maybe even four wide up there ahead of us so it looks nice but uh, we need these guys to we need multiple grooves to be able to leave careful still there and right now the ai just don't seem to be able to do it on the outside excellent lap there good job not consistent careful anyway. still there so in future races i might be looking for ways uh to slow this car down so that we have careful, a hard time getting there. to the lead or at least hopefully have a hard time getting to the lead, if at all. Careful, still there. You got room, you're right, clear you there. there. Pull down in front of the fast car coming through the field. New drafting partner, the Zero. Got one up top. Uh, Briscoe will be a great drafting partner. We know that car's fast. Still there.
I need two more solid laps, man. Right, Keep it two going. Two more solid laps. Careful, you got it. Still there. Back out of the gas. Back it down. All right. All right. It says there. the 20 is our drafting partner. Unfortunately, we're going to lose him pretty quickly. Unless he can stick with us. But here we are, back toward the front again. Careful, still there. Car on the outside now. Careful, still there. All right, you're clear there. One more to go. There we go. Now Austin Hill has got the right idea. He gave the indication he was going to drift up the track and go to another lane. All right, we should be able to push him to the lead, assuming the leader has moved up the track any at all. But right now, we're not gaining much speed at all. Careful, still there. All right, let's see what we got coming off. There. Yep, the 10 goes up to block. Stay low, stay low. And let's see if we've got enough to get back to the line first. No real drafting help. One bad stage. Oh, Way yeah. To go, oh, yeah, we got it. All right, so we're able to pass Ross Chastain. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? I don't want to pit again. Uh, I mean, we could. Let's see, we are, we're not going to pit, but I'm gonna try some different things here. We got, of course, this being the third and final stage of the race, we got more laps here. So All we can right. play around. Let's try to get up in that high line and right see here. if somebody will push us to the lead or if we can push somebody else to the lead. So we'll give it a lap or two, 14 more laps. So we'll give it a lap or two for everybody to get up to speed. And let's see if we can't team up with somebody and make that second or even third. That would be great if we could make that third group work. All right, so first things first, these guys are going to have a huge run on us. I'm going to leave the bottom open. Depending on how well formed they are, that should get several cars by us. But yeah, next time we come to, to Talladega, and probably the same thing for Daytona, I'm going to slow the cars down. Uh, my car, that is. And see if we can't make it quite a bit tougher. Because, like, right now, these guys should have been, they should have already blown by me. All right, here we go. Inside. Two by two, they're coming. Got a car load now. All right, outside lane. All right, here we go. Draft Still partner engaged. Let's see what we can do up here. Got one peeking inside. Inside. All right, he did give us a little love tap, but now he's falling back too far. Let's see if he can get some momentum and get back to us. Still there. Inside. Still there? Yeah, you can see this inside lane is just going to foul right on by. Just Stay nothing up, up here. here. Can't get enough cars uh, tightly packed together. So, of course, if a car pulls up in front of us, we can give them a nice... Up here. Nice love tap. And oh, the 20 car wants to go up here. All right, we'll go up here. Still there? Clear high, bud. Let's see what we can do for our Nemechek here. 
All right, come on, 20 car. Get up here behind me. So yeah, this is one of those times where we're just gonna have to try to manufacture some fun out of Hold this. Hold your line, stay high. Because sticking to the bottom and just blocking that inside lane is not my idea of fun. So we're gonna see if we can't get Still this there. high groove working. All right, so we lost the 20. Picked up the 51. We got a great run. Oh, who is that? Brandon Brown? All right, you're clear that? there. Oh no, that's Timmy Hill. He's made another appearance. I forgot about him. Keep digging. Ten to go. Still there. Car there on the inside. Got one down low now. Still trying to get one of these guys behind us to go with us. Looking inside now. And so far, nobody really wants to do it. Got a car now. That didn't look good at all. You're all clear up top there. Got a car low now. All right, here we come, Timmy. Yikes. Still there. Ooh, he's moving around a lot more than I would have preferred. Where are you going, Timmy? You staying up top? Yeah. Oh, got up into the wall. I knew that was coming. Moving around back and forth on his bumper. All right, so now we're back to 10th. We've got, what, seven, eight laps to go? Ouch. Little love tap there from the 07. Apparently, we are three wide. Still there. Got one down low now. Stay high up here. But yeah, just nobody is going to come up here and really get anything going. You can do it maybe stay for high, a lap or high. two, but yeah, they, it just doesn't stick together long enough to get anything going. Of course, those of you who remember stay high, stay high. Got a car uh, NASCAR coming race in 2003, now. there were some things we could do with the AI to make it work. Moving the lines around Careful, and adjusting how they raced, you could make it work. But here in the heat series, the, the cars just don't stick together still in a there. tight enough pack to really make it happen. Careful, still there. But it's a hard thing to do. So it's not like this is one of those easy fixes. It, it takes some work to get there, Stay so it's no surprise. There. All right, are we clear on the bottom? Still yes, there. we are. Oh, these guys are all the, the way out of the here. gas. Please go. All right, we'll just pull Still down. There. I want to try to make my way back up toward the front. My little experiment didn't work out the way I had hoped. Car outside. I was hoping the drafting partners would give us somebody that would stick with us. Uh, the whole Timmy Hill thing, he was just running a little bit too high. Stay out the bottom. Ouch. That hurt. You got room. You're clear. Yeah, these guys are just way out of the gas. Got to get these guys moving. Stay low. There we go. Stay out the I'll pull out there a little bit. All right, so now we're going to get a big run on the 11. Careful, still there. So we'll use that to move into second position. You got room. You're clear. And we'll draft a little bit with our teammates. Again, running. Oh, hello. Never mind. Still there. But yeah, behind somebody, normally running anywhere from half to three quarters to go. Throttle, to go. Uh, assuming they don't get jammed Careful, up. Still there. All right, clear outside. Then you're looking for that brake pedal. All 
All right, so once again, I'm going to move up the track. All right, nobody quite close enough. And you saw the 11 go way high right there. That's one of those, that works great. That type of AI behavior works great at like the mile and a half and some of those places where, you know, Bristol and so on, where you have uh, multiple grooves up there and it really doesn't matter about drafting. That would have been a great move. You know, try something different, get out of my dirty air. But here, that AI behavior would do nothing but send you to the back. But you can see behind us, there's, what, a couple of cars in line behind us. But then there's a huge gap. A few cars on the outside lane trying to make something happen. But nobody sticks together for long enough to make anything actually work. All right, here we go. He had a nice run. Oh, he's just going to pull right back in behind me. I thought he was going to go to the outside. And he had help. Uh, he's out there. I'm trying to give it to him. Definitely not going to block him. All right, he's got a little bit of a run on the outside, the red car. Unfortunately, there's not going to be a whole lot he can do. So in order to get this racing really what I would consider to be decent, doesn't even have to be fantastic, but just to get it decent, it would have to be different AI behavior than what they have coded for the other tracks. It just doesn't work that way at a plate track. All right, two more laps to go, and I still hope for something to form. All right, you can see him going to the high side now. I'm going to stay to the bottom. Give him plenty of room. He's got help. Oh, he's got a nice Car run there. Outside. There you go. Get to that outside. He's got two or three cars. Car outside, hold your line. Clear all around. White flag, bring it home. Nope, they've fallen back. I was hoping they could stay with me and make this interesting on the final lap. Let's see what we can do. That 10 car, we know he'll get aggressive, and he's got help. All right, there we go. That could really line up. If they'll stay in line, draft with me going through three and four, they could pull out and easily make a pass. Because that will leave me with no help whatsoever. All right, here they come. All right, oh, no, he just tucked back in. That's not good. Don't do that. Ross Chastain in real life would never have done that. Ross Chastain would have taken Driver, that run and nice gone for the victory. But there you go. That is win. What is that? Win number five on the season? Yikes. All right, we'll skip the burnout. And we'll go back to the main menu. So it was fairly close at the end, but no real, no real pressure there at the end. Uh, they had a run, chose to, to not use it, so that's unfortunate. Just sad because there's so much fun that can be had at a place like this if you can get the cars uh, in a big pack and, and work it two and three wide. And it's a ton of fun. All right, so what do we end up getting here? Almost 80 grand total. Yikes. Uh, I'm a little worried. I happen to notice this. I really don't normally pay attention to this very much, but the race earnings don't make any sense to me. The way they do this driver cut, they do 50% of the overall total. I'm, I'm not sure why they do half of the team payout. 
the team payout is my salary. I can understand them taking half of the merch payout. I can certainly understand that. And I definitely can understand half of uh, the 124000 for the race purse. But the team payout should not be part of that calculation. So that's a little bit odd. But I guess just trying to keep things simple, I suppose, in the calculation department. But uh, that was just something I noticed. Because like I said, most of the time I'm driving for my own team in career mode. So it's not something I pay a whole lot of attention to. But I happened to notice that the math looked a little funny. Uh, particularly, I think it was after Bristol when we got the victory. I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't look like it. So they're going to pay me a salary and then take half of it. That's, boy, that's one way of doing it. That'll get you some extra income as junior motorsports. So now let's take a look at the point standings. 393 points. Look at those playoff points. 32 playoff points as opposed to six being the highest for anyone else. Yeah, I'd say we're in very comfortable position to go in as the leader. The real question will be, will we finish as the regular season champion and get some additional playoff points from that as well? Uh, at this point, I kind of doubt that, but man, we are racking up the playoff points so far. So let's go ahead and hit continue there. And that is where we're going to leave it for today. No better way to end it than win a shot at victory lane. So the money line 300 at Talladega is ours. It's coming home to Junior Motorsports and the number one car. Thank you guys so much for joining me and stay tuned for more career mode gameplay in NASCAR Heat 5.